Hi, my name is Sam McDermott. We're here in the Intel booth at CES. And as you can see right behind me, we have a real-time three-dimensional virtual world. So I'd like to welcome you into my virtual world here today. Right here, as you can see, I've got a real-time three-dimensional image that is being powered using my Intel Core i7 processor. And as I'm moving this image around with my fingers, just it's rendering in real time. In the corner, you can see how fast the frames are going. We're looking at about 400 frames per second and 1 million polygons. So it's a very exciting, it's exciting time here at Intel. What I'm also showing folks is as you go deeper into these various levels, you can really see the capabilities behind the Core i7 processor. In this case, for those who have uh, exceptional gaming needs, our multi-threading, hyper-threading technology allows for a much better use. For design and photo editing, you're looking at up to 46% faster rendering and incredible performance on applications like photo retouching. Video editing and effects, you're looking at about 79% faster video encoding from the power of four multi-threaded processors. So this is a very, very powerful system. As we go a little bit deeper, we're looking at the Intel Centrino 2 processor, which is built for our notebook market. What's exciting here is we have got an exceptionally long battery life. So for those of you who have needs you know, that go beyond the boardroom or maybe you want to go on the road and, and travel and watch a, a movie, you know, some of our some of our customers are telling us they're getting a full Blu-ray movie on one battery charge, which is really impressive. Lastly, our smallest processor is the Intel Atom. And that processor is the size of a grain of rice. It's tiny. What's neat about this is it's a great complement for those who want to have the capabilities of the internet on the go, but don't want to necessarily carry their notebook with them. So it's a terrific companion piece for folks who maybe want to use a net top or a mobile internet device and have full capabilities of the internet. Again, this entire display that you see here, this whole virtual world, is being powered by our Core i7 processor. Sure. And we work with a third-party vendor to come up with this technology. And what's really interesting here is we've got a proprietary holographic projection-based system. It uses capacitance sensing. And, uh, you know, as you can see, I'm able to move the image just by moving my fingers.